Hi, Art here, and welcome back to Central Talks. Today, we're reporting from Yellowstone National Park, home to the world's largest collection of geysers, including Old Faithful. Sidebar, Yellowstone was designated a national park by Ulysses S. Grant in 1872. It is the first national park, not only in the U.S., but in the world. Half the world's hydrothermal features, such as hot springs, fumaroles, and of course, geysers, reside in Yellowstone. And that's because Yellowstone sits on top of an active super volcano, making Yellowstone a nice place to visit, but you wouldn't want to live there. Now, back to stem cells. Today, we want to report on some exciting news out of Columbia University that will impact a wide range of fronts. The stem cell and regenerative medicine front, the drug discovery front, and the personalized medicine front. In previous blog posts and blogs, we've reported on the creation of organoids, basically small clusters of cells made with stem cells that mimic an organ. These organoid chips have proven to be very useful to researchers as they can conduct all manner of studies on different organ tissue without the need of a biopsy from a donor. Now, a team of researchers led by Gordana Vunjak Novakovic of Columbia University, have taken this technology several steps forward. The team has managed to place four stem cell derived organoids, liver, heart, bone, and skin on the same chip, a organoid, if you will allow me poetic license. And in a significant technical leap, they linked all four organoids together to a vascularization system, complete with circulating immune cells that mimics the human body. So why is a forganoid worthy of a stem cell talks blog? As I mentioned earlier, this advance is impacting three major fronts. First, let's take a look at how this impacts stem cells and regenerative medicine. While creating organoids with stem cells has been done before, what sets this research apart is the vascularization of the organoids. That is the addition of a functioning network of blood vessels to provide nutrients and cart off waste, just like in the human body. This is a big step forward for lab grown organs, as one of the current limitations in growing organs is vascularization, which increases in difficulty as the organ size increases. Successful vascularization will go a long way toward alleviating organ shortages in the not too distant future. Second, let's take a look at how this advance impacts drug discovery. As we all know, one of the drawbacks to drugs is their unintended side effects on other organs and parts of the body. By stringing together a series of different organoids, all sharing the same vascular system, researchers will be able to more readily assess the impact of different drugs, drug doses, and drug regimens on whole body systems. This will accelerate more effective drug treatments with fewer side effects. And lastly, the impact on personalized medicine. The forganoid was grown with an individual stem cells, so clearly this advance will enable lab-grown organs with a patient's own stem cells. Additionally, it will be possible to create forganoids on an individual basis, so doctors will be able to replicate an individual's physiology and test that person's likely reaction to a drug regimen before administering the drugs to the individual. Such personalization will allow doctors to fine tune an individual's drug regimen, increasing efficacy and limiting adverse side effects. Now here at StemSave, we talk about the biological revolution as the next wave in human development. Well, we're riding that wave in the here and now and stem cells play a key role in this revolution. A revolution that will usher in a period of longer and healthier lives. That's it for now. Don't forget to like us and to subscribe. We'll see you again soon.